Hey everyone, welcome back to Salesforce Mojo. Today we're gonna to do something fun with a sneak peek of the new Unify Checkout with the LWR template. If you've been liking our content and have seen our videos before, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to us and let's get right into it. So for those of you who haven't heard of LWR before, it means Lightning Web Runtime. And it's the new craze when it comes to communities for Salesforce. Uh, faster responses, uh, faster utilization, and a lot uh, more capabilities. Uh, what we're going to start right now is going into an LWR storefront, and we're specifically going to go over to checkout today. So you can see that the community looks very similar to how other communities look with a little bit of change. Uh, however, we're focusing on the checkout today, and you can see that the checkout experience looks much different. If you're familiar with B2B Commerce and some of my previous videos, you're probably familiar with a flow-based checkout, but you can see here that we now have a unified single page checkout. And as we scroll down, we can see that each of this is broken into sections here, shipping, payment, all the sections you're used to, but now on a single page. Now you may be wondering, am I able to customize this and be able to tap into some of the integrations I've, I've used in the past? Absolutely. Uh, now a lot of that configuration is done through uh, Lightning Web Components instead of in Flow. However, we do have these components that are backwards compatible into Flow if we need to kind of go back in there. But you can see that you have a much better experience this way. And we even have the ability to customize what this checkout looks like by switching between a one page and an accordion. And we also have the ability to add new sections if we wanted to add a new section for you know, my notes and I wanted to have a component in there that allowed me to capture specific notes and save that information as part of the order, you absolutely can do that by just clicking the new section here, putting in my orders or my notes, I should say. And once I've done that and click save, so you can see once I've clicked saved here and I've scrolled down, you can see the my notes section at the very bottom. And what you can do is come over to the component section and I can easily drop in another component right into this uh, notes section. So if I created a custom lightning web component, I can just drop that in and use that to kind of pass along with my order uh, information. So I thought it would also be helpful to kind of see this from the user's experience. So I'm logged in as a buyer user here and you can see that I already have a shipping address selected automatically as I've come in because I'll have a contact point address on my account. However, I'm able to add a new address, which is something that out of the box you couldn't do in the previous B2B or a based uh, component, but now I can fill all this information in and I can save it and make this my default address, which I think is really powerful, uh, having that as a default functionality now. Now, as you scroll down, you can see that you have your uh, shipping method here. And the way that this uh, you know template works here is, and especially in checkout, is uh, really being dynamic with some of the changes between the components and pages here. So you can see that dynamically look my uh, shipping amount here. And if I were to make changes to my shipping address, the shipping amount here would recalculate based on that information here. So no longer do you have to go from page to page and try to go back and forth and make that work. Uh, but I'd select my shipping method here. I fill in my uh, payment information and there is another component on here that's a combination of um, credit card and purchase order together and being able to select one or the other. But once I've done all this and I click place order and I filled in my credit card, then that order would be placed. And now the speed to completing uh, checkout is much faster with this update. So as you can see, a lot of updates have been made to the LWR template with this unified checkout. Uh, I'll do more videos on this as it's um, released in the future, but just a quick uh, call out to the release notes. In spring 23, this is when it's going to become available. You can see a note underneath the commerce section on the left-hand side under checkout that there is going to be the capability here to have checkout directly in Experience Builder with LWR.